1972 Datsun. It's been an electric vehicle for the last 15 years. This is its latest reincarnation. Uh, we built it in 1993. Uh, and the version you see here is about a month old. And we just put in the new Auburn controller and the new um, uh, Optima yellow top spiral wound batteries. We brought to the, uh, to the electric car field the uh, meticulousness of the car stereo industry and also the uh, components using Phoenix Gold uh, switches and connectors. And we've done it not just for the beauty but because of the good conductivity of the gold. Um, what we saw of the electric car field was duct tape and bailing wire and we understood that for the general public to get interested in electric vehicles it had to be brought up to this meticulous level. And I think we did the job. On the left is the uh, Abotech, which is actually a Trojan uh, product with an oil bath. And we chose it back in 1993 because it, had, it was the cleanest battery that we could find. Uh, again, standard lead acid and standard wet cell. On the right is now the new Optima prototype, yellow top. Solid, spiral wound, no liquid electrolyte. You can put it under the seat. You can stack them upside down, you could stack them too high, they are a phenomenal product. You notice the difference in physical size. Okay, this is a group 27, I don't even know what group this is, but it's a lot smaller. Mm -hmm. This battery weighs 52 pounds, this one only weighs 44. At the 20 hour rate, this is 105 amp power, this is 52, and at first you think, well gee, it's half as powerful. Well, the 20 hour rate doesn't do any good. So in other words, 105 amp hours, that means you can draw five amps for 20 hours. Well, big deal, that won't run an electric car. But at the one hour rate, that's what you want to look at. At the one hour rate, this battery falls clear down to like about 35 amp hour. This thing's still putting out about 40. So at the one hour rate, this now has more power than this. And at a half hour rate, like blasting down the freeway or something, this has got twice as much power as this does. So you got a smaller, lighter, safer battery with no liquid electrolyte to spill out, no, no explosive hydrogen or oxygen gases to, to blow up, and a life expectancy of five times mm -hmm. what this battery is. It's like a, a dream come true for us electric car people. Uh, the motor is a 9-inch advanced DC, and we're pushing 144 volts through it, and the Kodiak is rated at 600 amps. That is easily over 100 horsepower. And that, by the way, that's electric horsepower. It moves. It moves the 2,300 pound car very, very quickly. Electric trunk release. People ask where the rest of the trunk, where the rest of the batteries are. Number four. rest of the uh, traction pack hidden away right over the axle and it just so happens right where the gas tank used to be. Now there's a red battery in there. The red battery is for the stereo uh, equipment. And when the battery track, uh, the pack is retracted, a full usable trunk, which I must say most other conversions don't have. More stereo equipment. Over here we have compartments back of the capacitors for the high powered sound system. An extra DC to DC converter to back up the sound system. There's two of these in the car. The one in front runs all the lights, the wipers, the horn, things like that. And then this extra one kicks in when you're turning on the amplification equipment. Yeah. This is a electric vehicle, 144 volts, approximately 450 amp. It moves. It is not fake. This is real power. Outrageous. Speaker 350 watt. Competition stereo equipment.
the main reason we took a, the blue car and I added the uh, the blue and the violet and the red pearlescent is to show that this is an electric vehicle. Second, the concept shows that it is an everyday color made special, just like it's an everyday car that's now made special. There's a lot of themes that are involved in the uh, in the whole project creation. A 1965 Mustang, a very classic American automobile. Uh, it started off as a six-cylinder, and we've rebuilt it so that uh, in its next 30 years. We have a uh, Curtis controller, again the advanced DC 9 inch motor. We're using the large uh, wet cell batteries, at, yet at this point we're anticipating changing them to the uh, solids. Uh, it's a 120 volt system and it moves out as briskly as the, uh, the six cylinder. And when we knew what we could do with this kind of finesse, and just plain want to, we knew that this would uh, generate the interest in electric vehicles. Just put in the voltmeter and an amp gauge to show um, state of charge and the current draw. It has a 411 rear end, a stock um, three-speed non-synchro, and we have had it over 85 miles an hour with three people on board, uh, approximately 200 pounds each. The only place to have the uh, plug-in port and it does have a safety interlock so you can't drive off with the, uh, with the plug inserted. And the rest of the batteries are in the trunk, right where the gas tank used to be. We took out the, the gas tank and we put in this tray and actually reconstructed the entire floor. It now actually has a larger storage area than the stock Mustang. And then the rest of the six batteries are inside and they are vented because these are still the, uh, the uh, wet cell lead acid. So there are four in front and six back here and we have the potential of adding one more so we can actually go up in voltage. The charger and the line booster are out of the way uh, below the package tray. And uh, Bridgestone has them. Each car, each tire company has their version of the, uh, of the low rolling resistance tire. 